Hi guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton. Uh, today we're down on board looking around a Sunseeker 76 yacht. Uh, doing my tour slightly differently today, so it's a bit noisy outside. We're going to start inside, have a look around, and then we'll finish off with a quick look around the, uh, the hull and exterior. So I just spin the camera around here to give you a quick panorama of the saloon. Welcome on board Project 157. So this is a new 2020 Sunseeker 76 yacht. Uh, we introduced this model to the range back for the 2018 season. Uh, she replaced what was the hugely popular 75 yacht before. So it was a revision with new hull windows and some styling changes to the boat, but still the same in hull machinery uh, that we did on the, the previous models. So standard power originally was with the twin uh, 1200 horsepower MANs, but most boats selected to go with the upgrade to the twin 1550s. And I have to say the boat is a real rocket ship with these in. Um, getting an up excess of 33 knots, which for a boat weighing in around 54,000 kilos is, uh, is pretty impressive. Um, she holds 6,000 litres of fuel, so we've got a, a solid cruising range, 10 knot cruising range around 500 nautical miles, or up on a cruising speed of around 22 knots, we drop that to about 300. So just looking around the saloon here, imagine having first stepped on board. Uh, we've got a Venge wood finish on the on the cabinetry, which is the dark wood. And then we've got this lovely contrasting silver oak that runs through the, the main saloon, the galley, and up to the lower helm forward there. Uh, lots of upholstery upgrades on this particular yacht. Uh, things like the Roman blinds there and the, uh, the sofas here, dining chairs. E everything is a real high spec. Base boat starting price is 2.785 million pounds ex tax, and as seen here, she's about 3.45 million pounds. So we've got a fairly substantial, about 20% extras cost on board. So just walking forward, you can see we've got the the dining here on the port side. We've got it's a four cabin boat, so uh, dining here for eight, and then across opposite this beautiful open plan galley. We've got this uh, custom panel here, which just gives it a semi enclosed feel um, some owners at this size want to be very much still an owner operator and therefore this is part of the main family living space but equally if you want to run as a as a charter boat with a with a chef or a sort of chef come hostess there's plenty of um, plenty of room to do that and not be under the um, under front of the guests all the time so it's a very well equipped galley obviously full electric hob system convection uh, oven system there as well um, one and a half bowl stainless sink. We've got a slimline dishwasher here. Lovely big upgraded fridge and freezer. So going away on the water for, for days at a time is absolutely no, no problem at all. Loads of storage for provisions, of course, things like wine coolers, uh, additional ice makers. Say so it's, a, it's a very high, from a tech spec point of view, it's a very high, high end boat. We come up to the helm. Uh, we've got the Simrad Premium Pack here, so we've got 19 inch, these are 19 inch displays, two, two for navigation, showing a multitude of uh, GPS, radar, autopilot, uh, AIS transducer for the um, depth and fish finder system as well. And then across here is our Sunseeker CM8 monitoring panel, which gives things like uh, tankage and, and power systems on board. So we can um, we can log into that from a, a number of different access points on the boat just to see what systems are showing. Uh, lovely, everything falling nicely to hand. I'm sitting here in the helm seat at the moment. We've got a mesh cover on the windscreen, so it's not quite as bright in here as it could be, um, just keeping the sun out. But you can see I've got things like my um, fly-by-wire throttles here, controls here, which has given me control of my various nav screens. So I haven't got to leave my seat to, to reach them. And then uh, proportional hydraulic thrusters. So we've moved out of the electric thrusters we have on the smaller boats into hydraulics. And then uh, further upgrade to an Aventix joystick. So this is then taking the manipulation of the gearboxes and my thruster controls into one that twists the top, goes around in a circle, push it sideways, the boat goes sideways. It's very intuitive. And if you're an owner operator, captain, um, who isn't on the boat regularly, it's a, it's a very almost a point and shoot parking type exercise without having to manipulate the the individual controls to to get that functionality things like fire and flood monitoring systems and uh, of course dsc radios and what have you everything's nicely here as the captain i say and i've got a i've got a second beautiful uh, bezanzoni co-pilot seat here next to me for navigator to enjoy the view whilst you're up and running 
Obviously opposite here on the port side, we've got a nice seating area tucked under the windscreen, which just gives somewhere nice if you've got a captain and you want to sit up and chat with them when underway or somewhere as a snug for the family, somewhere quiet to read the newspaper, that sort of thing. Let's head on down and take a look at the cabins. So things like uh, this mirror is an upgraded feature panel over what would just be a standard bulkhead um, and we've got four cabins down here starting in the midships master so over on the starboard side we've got this beautiful table and chairs and you see how close we are now to the waterline so it's a lovely spot to sit in the morning read a newspaper or getting ready in the evening before going out on the town it's uh, it, it's a huge cabin loads of loads of floor space and feature lighting we've got these lovely LED lights through the ceiling of course things like reading lights by the bed and what have you it's a, a 1.8 meter wide bed here uh, all sprung mattress upgrades throughout the cabins and over on then on the port side of the boat we've got this nice vanity station with a lift up mirror so very tasteful colors everything's very neutral some funky scatter cushions which could be easily changed if you wanted to give a different feel to the boat and uh, from a practical point of view you know, lots of storage touches things like drawers under the bed handy little bedside tables and over here and then moving aft we have a, a separate sort of walk-in wardrobe area this was a much improved design over the previous 75 so we've got good size full-length hanging wardrobe there uh, obviously master safe for jewelry and expenses and again, another wardrobe here. So plenty of space for uh, for leaving your gear on board if you're flying backwards and forwards from a med base. Some distance from the boat, not having to take everything out with you regularly. So we then have the transverse running thwart ships across the boat here. We have the, um, the master bathroom with a, a his and hers twin sinks and a great size shower compartment at the end here with an upgrade. So this is a Minerva stone on the floors and the, and the bulkheads in here so it's a very um, very high end finish premium uh, audio pack so we've got a 55 inch telly here sat on the bulkhead um, which has got a dvd apple tv there's a sonos um, sound bar up top there as well um, and there's a pepwave on board 4g router as well so we've got full uh, wi-fi connectivity um, if you're used to using sonos at home it's a very um, very simple system to use um, it needs a data data card in order to pick up a connection so it'll take dual cards um, and it's seamlessly running as well so you can switch between generator power and um, and mains power without having to having to turn one system off and switch to the other so moving forward here uh, starboard double cabin which again is a large island double bed plenty of room to walk around little storage drawers either side Again, a good size wardrobe in the corner there and these beautiful panoramic windows really letting a lot of natural light in so guests feeling very much still part of the action in here a 32 inch telly there sat up on the bulkhead again with a, a the dvd and, and bluetooth then we move forward so this is uh this is a door into the what would be the day heads if you've got guests on board i'll turn this, the uh, lights on but we have a noisy fan just for a sec um, electric heated towel rails up on the on the bulkhead there uh, and this services that uh, double cabin so we've got that direct jack and jill door and also the door I've, I've just come in through which is the i say is a day head there is an option although rare on a yacht this size um, actually to remove this port twin cabin and turn this into a lower deck galley um, it's it's really for the asian market and we don't do many of them in europe but seen here configured in the standard layout we've got the the twin the twin cabin and then on the floor here, you'll see these um, these blocks actually lift out and it's on an electric sliding mechanism and this bed goes outboard to make an occasional double. So if you're using the boat for charter and you want the versatility of couples or kids on board, it just gives a little bit more functionality. And there is actually space on the bulkhead here if you wanted to, to have a fold down single, what we call a Pullman bed, and it would just give an extra kid's bed if needed. Across behind me now, We've got the, um, just turn the light on again and say it's, we get the fan in here. 
Again, separate shower stall, good size. We hold 1500 litres of water on board, so it's a very, um, very well equipped in that respect. So all the same finishes throughout. Moving forward, this is your VIP double guest cabin. So this is like a little mini suite. So we've got again, center line feature, double berth again, sprung mattress and loads of storage in here. Again, say top level, these are uh, locker boxes. We've got good size wardrobe and storage over here on the port. And there's a nice um, vanity station here with a lift up lid. And then over on the starboard side, there's a 40 inch telly sat on the bulkhead there again with uh, with DVD and and Bluetooth and what have you. So say so nothing missing on the on the AV spec in the cabins at all. Handy cupboards here, things like uh, laundry. Say so whether you're running as a crude boat, just saving the crew traipsing through the boat with with fresh bedding all the time, or as an owner operator, say so it's handy to have everything in down near the guest accommodation. Uh, we have a nice crew door here over by the, the helm. So if you imagine as a captain or as a servery from the from the galley, you haven't got to necessarily come through the saloon if um, if the owner's entertaining guests and you want to run it, say, as a more of a charter setup. And then tucked up here on the port side behind this sofa where we started the tour is a 55 inch telly again in a high low mechanism. So you get the full benefit of these large glass windows with it tucked away, but a great entertaining space to watch the TV in the evenings. Then we come outside to the cockpit. So starboard side of the boat, we've got a, an ice maker and a fridge that sits out here. And opposite, it's a bit hard to see with all the cushions, you have to apologize, but the boat's not been cleaned for the viewing. So I've just left everything inside Obviously, as a brand new boat, I don't want to get any damage on anything. But just showing you the upholstery, it's a it's a lovely umbrella fabric with a with a texture. It's a new one to the range. I haven't seen this before. I'd say it looks very um, very smart. So we've got an, an L shape sitting in here in the corner. I'll try and come round behind it just to show you the the fixed backrest in there. But um, multitude of different options in this space. So we can either have the fixed seating like we have here. Uh, we can do a small bar if you wanted a cruise setup. Or some owners leave it completely open and have a couple of bean bags just to give some real versatility. You want the space for entertaining and having guests on board and what have you. Center of the, uh, the cockpit here then is a main U-shaped seating area. So we've got this big uh, beautiful teak table underneath the cover. These are all the um, backrests from upstairs on the flybridge again just uh, in protective storage at the moment whilst uh, whilst the boats all shut up for, um, for lockdown. So We'll head on up and take a look at the flybridge. So we've got these um, nice, easy to access teak steps. And we come up part of the platinum package that the boat has fitted is the um, is the teak flooring here, which runs throughout the uh, the top. We've got a electric retracting sun awning on the aft end of the hard top here. The hard top is a factory option, again, included in that package. And the center section opens to give you uh, obviously sun in here when when you wish and then our upper deck helm so we've got twin uh, these are 16 inch simrad displays it's a repeat of everything we have downstairs so again speed and depth autopilot control we've got our hydraulic thrusters and again down here the joystick and, and throttle control so if you're just leaning over the side you can see very much the visibility from Turn all the way to the bow is great. Very, um, very easy. You say if you're running short-handed, this boat's very capable of being run with two people. If I just lift up above the top there. You'll see she's got an open array, four-foot radar scanner in the twin, twin aerials up top. Uh, lots of little details of things like um, it's a pull-out refrigeration drawer here. Loads of storage. So again, on wet weather, um, like scuba gear and uh, blow up paddle boards and what have you. Lots of little lockers here in, in behind the seats. So you'll have to excuse the fact I can't put my cushions out today. Um, and then the aft end of the flybridge here, this is geared up for a, a retrofitment of a, a flybridge crane. So sitting here behind the seat as an option would be a, a crane, 350 kilo lift, which would take a small 
jet ski that was set up top here and these aft rails are all then removable for launch and recovery. Uh, there is also an option to put a hot tub up here if you wanted to um, to fit one it's a small two person jacuzzi and then a wet bar so we have an electric griddle top loading cool box and then underneath we've got uh, extra refrigeration things like the sink and what have you so it's a very um, very well equipped wet bar area let's head back down and we'll go up and do the foredeck So you'll notice here again teak, teak side decks, we've got a nice opening side door there, handy if you're coming alongside a concrete key side. you notice this massive expanse of glass on to walk down the deck. All walks are really up almost to my waist height, so if I drop down you can see really how safe they are. So if you've got dogs or young kids on board with you, never a moment when you feel like they might suddenly disappear over the side. Again loads of practical storage, things like fenders. And up here what we call a Portuguese barrel arrangement. So the days of having a centralised sun pad, just this maximises the volume a little better. Um, so we've got these two seating areas which would have a backrest cushion in here where the socket deck sockets are and then you'd have a sun pad forward and a seat here and that gives you this really social area. If you imagine a lot of boating in the Mediterranean is moored stern too in the port at night, just facilitates a bit of privacy up here. We've got two pull out, one either side in the bow here we've got the stainless steel cool boxes and then we move forward to our working area which is still despite that Portuguese arrangement more than adequate for doing lines and, and anchor control and what have you so it's a really uh, really clever use of space there's a couple of sockets up here to take a, a parasol uh, which this boat has on the spec list so that's stored down in the engine room So they're a great, uh, great looking boat. We build around uh, 18 of these a year. So in this particular one is available. So um, as soon as we're through the, the lockdown period, just the PDI and final retrofitment of things like a tender, and have uh, safety equipment and what have you, and you could be uh, soon on the water here enjoying either the UK south coast or regular shipping onwards down to the Mediterranean. Um, I can't get into the crew cabin from the platform, just as how she's tied up here, restricted in the marina, but we have dual access into the engine room and we'll go backwards into the crew afterwards just to show you how it works. So that's the emergency access down from the cockpit, but we do actually have a direct door here as, a, as an option from the shipyard which would normally have come in from the crew space. So here in the aft end of the boat, you can see the bathing platform through the back window there. We have a lift up door, and this would normally be the crew space where they've then got a, a small bathroom here with a, a shower and, and toilet, TV, which can be linked into navigation equipment. And there's various layouts in here, depending on whether you're running as an owner or or as a crewed boat um, but we've got elected here to to remove the standard double bed and we've got two singles there is an option also to go with a double and then a single up on the bulkhead so you can put three crew beds in here if needed we've got laundry facilities here with a Miele uh, washing machine and, and tumble dryer it can be kitted out if you're not going to have a captain or or crew you can use a lot more in that space with um, water sports storage equipment and what have you so coming back into the engine room, we've got two 27 kilowatt generators. So the fuel tanks up on the uh, on the outboard side of the engines here. So two two tanks giving that 6,000 litre capacity, and these lovely MAN V12 engines. You can uh, you can change the rocker covers there to chrome if you really want some bling down here to come and impress your friends with. Uh, fire suppression systems obviously with all the uh, technical systems on board the yacht is compliant with a lot of the regulations which go on then to to charter code her so not a huge amount of gear other than safety equipment generally needed to turn her into a, a fully compliant charter yacht lots of packs here for things like the stabilization so she's got uh, slight vector fin stabilizers which work zero speed at anchor also when underway so then you'll see the two generators sat on top of each other there 
Um, we've obviously got things like a large passerelle, the hydraulic pack for the platform. So it's a 450 kilo lift, sorry, 550 kilo lift uh, platform on one of these. So that lift a 445 Williams tender. So um, in terms of uh, water sports toys, you know, that's a, that's a rib capable of speeds uh, approaching 50 knots. So it's a great, great bit of kit. Just shut that floor back down. And we'll have a wander around the outside just to show you the exterior. It's a hydraulic bathing platform, so one touch drop down here. So launching a tender is very straightforward. Hidden under the back here, we've got the beach club arrangement. So we have a electric griddle, small preparation area. Below that, this is a drop down seat in here, and then this locker lifts up and it gives you a, a shower as well. So it's um, it becomes a really integrated part of the boat. If you've got kids in the water and what have you, nice place to sit and chat. We're just walking down the side here, you'll notice the massive expanse of glass that we saw on the inside now, just how really aggressive shape, but it's a, it's a very pretty boat. I say hard to fault the previous model 75 but they really have improved it stepped up in terms of the natural light on board just giving the boat a refresh i say and now running uh, from from 2018 to uh, to present it's uh, it's a very popular model in our range say so, uh, 23.6 meters loa so falling under the 24 meter load line say so which makes it very much a an owner operated proposition we can train you up from basic qualifications to give you confidence to operate this as you so wish with uh, with family and friends without a captain or we can assist in finding a captain if you if you don't want any hassle whatsoever so it fits the marinas here in the uk as you can see here now she's sat sat in the pool um or so we could arrange onward shipping to any of the big med ports obviously looking after the distribution ourselves for most of the mediterranean territories uh, if you'd like to, to find out any more about us, say my name is James from Sunseeker Southampton. Mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Or drop me an email to james at sunseekersouthampton.com. I can send you specs, details and some additional pictures of this particular yacht. Or if you're interested in something a little smaller, which would be the 68 Manhattan, or the next size up, which is our 86 yacht, uh, we can have a chat about the various options. Hope you've enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to hearing from you.